All right, so you guys know that I have an upcoming submission for Z-Man Games. I've officially finished the prototype, and I just want to show you guys what it looks like so you know what to expect when you build your own prototypes for a publisher. Your biggest goal while building a prototype for a publisher is not to build a professional quality board game. What you need to do is focus on making everything feel and work properly. If somebody's trying to shuffle the cards and they're terribly made, this is going to pull them out. This is going to break their immersion. Don't worry about hiring artists and printing off professional cards from ArtsCal. Those things are going to cost you a lot of money, and they're not going to help you out one bit. As you can see, this is actually a card game, which means that in order to play this properly, I need to make sure that the cards feel like actual playing cards. The way I did that was actually really simple. All I did was took a standard card sleeve, a normal playing card, slide that in, print out on a normal paper, slide that in. It feels exactly like a real card because I'm using an actual card. The next component that I have standard six-sided dice. Get these in massive packs at the dollar store. Very cheap and you can get as many dice as you need. In order to create any sort of a token or a meeple, any sort of a counter like that, it's nice to have something that's easy to pick up and these accent marbles do the trick. And as usual, dollar store. I get a massive bag of these so I can easily send out 10, 15 of them and it's not going to cost me that much money for the prototype. Now this is a pure card game so there's no need for things like a board but I realize that there are a lot of rules that are kind of hard to follow without some sort of a player aid so I built up these very simple boards. I want to make these things as easy as possible for them to learn the game and play it correctly. I ended up building these with a very similar method to the cards. I took a sheet protector, I backed it with some poster board, and I just put the paper on top. And finally, we have the rule book. Yes, that says Robin Hood. It's about all I can tell you for right now. I like to put it into a report cover it holds the pages together so I can make sure that when they receive it, they'll be in order. Although this is not a necessity, and it does cost an extra couple of bucks. The other problem with a report cover is that it does make these pages a little bit too big for an envelope, which means you're going to have to find another way to ship it. That's really all there is to it. You want to put together these pieces in a way that will allow them to play the game as though they just purchased it. It doesn't need to be perfect, but it needs to feel good enough that they can enjoy the game without too much distraction. The last thing I do want to mention is that you should play test a lot with this prototype before you ship it out. You want to make sure that you have all of the pieces, you want to avoid spelling errors, things like that. By playing for a few days with this prototype before you send it out, you'll make sure that everything looks and feels correct. So now you guys know what an actual board game submission can look like.